beard is looking a little scroungy, man. It's feeling a little rough right now. I think I might need to get this thing chopped up, man. You feel like you can jump back into the barber game, man, and chop me up? No, I didn't ever, did I ever tell you I know how to do some beard trims? You didn't tell me about the beard trims. I you, got a little bit of beard trim skills in Let's that. see, man. I got a rough one to trim up right now. I don't know if All you right. can handle it, man. I think I can get you. He think he got me. Let's see. You still got it, Carlos? Man, you yeah, sure? man, you keep smiling, oh. man. Every time you move your face, oh, you okay. your skin lift. Okay, okay. I'm making sure so. you still got it, man. Them hands is looking, <laughs> looking a little finicky over there. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. If not, it would be like cutting, like sound like shit. We sound like Doritos. <laughs> man, I had to cut somebody's beard. Uh, it sounds like Doritos when I'm cutting it, man. Oh man, he got me right, man. Oh man, okay, got my junk lined up right. Just clean Looking up. like a movie star around here. <laughs> when did you start? You you was barbering in um in Iraq when you went to Iraq, right? Yeah, I was barbering in Iraq uh, all three years. I was barbering every time I was back here. I was still barbering again. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Barbering. Yeah. Yep. Barbering the weekend. On the weekends, yeah. I was barbering for like ten years. Ten. <laughs> every, plus, did you? Ten plus years now. The first time you went to Iraq, were you barbering? I was barbering the first time. All three times then? All three times. So, so you was... Back in 2005. So you was out there. So, man, more than 2005, right? So that's 13 years. Okay. 13 years. 13 years, okay. So you was with a rifle and with some clippers. Some clippers, everywhere <laughs> I went. About everything. Okay, you got me hooked up, man. Got the aquaponic guide hooked up around here. <laughs> Feeling fresh, like I can do a thousand aquaponic videos right now. Backflip, mmm. <laughs> I'm pumped right now. Got my stuff looking right, smooth. All right, that's what I'm talking about, Carlos. I appreciate it. What a wonderful day. It's drizzling out here, and uh, we're gonna see what we got going on. You already showed them the tanks, right? Yeah, I got you showed them that? Oh, yeah. snaps, we got a rack. I have, I've been gone, you guys. I've been gone for about a day. Carlos been over here running wild in aquaponics paradise, and woo, we got us a little tail. Wow. A, tool, uh, <laughs> a tool little show. Wow, you said you was gonna build it too. I was gonna build it. You said you were gonna put it together. Tools are organized. This would have never happened with me. So we have to thank the great man, Carlos. I would have never organized this. Woo! Clear. Clear yeah. HD. That's what this UV sterilizer does. Get your junk clear. HD, baby. And the mosquitoes, they just don't stop. Like transformers. Like a LED world. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. Because we felt, you, you could feel it's missing something yeah, when we popped like, it on yeah. the first time. You can feel it. Just something is missing. It's not enough. It doesn't have that, nah. Right. Nah. So we got to put some more lights. Man, it's raining hard. It's raining heavy right now. Good thing we got a hoop house. We can continue working. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at the clarity of the tanks. The clarity. The clarity of the tanks. From the UV sterilizer we put in just a few days ago. Boom, we got clarity. All right, real quick. Let's get out here. I wanna check up on the fish that got sucked up. I wanna see if he survived. It's about day three right now. And I wanna see if he's still making it or if he's floating on the top. Let me cut this off so you guys can hear. Wow. This is what I'm, 
This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, when I say these tilapia fish are the thugs and gangsters of aquaponics, man. These guys are super hardy. They, it's hard for them to die. You guys already seen it. The guy got vacuumed up and he's still here surviving. He is still here surviving. I'm not gonna mess with him. I don't wanna um, irritate him or anything like that. I, don't want, I wanna check to see his, uh, check for his wounds, but right now I'm still a little nervous. I wanna give him at least probably one more day. One more day and then see if I can check to see if he has any major uh, wounds that, um, that are still causing any problems. So right now he appears to be healthy. He's looking, I mean, he's not really moving around much, but he's still surviving. This is day of three. Day three since he got rescued, so, man, this is good news, ladies and gentlemen, man. I was rooting for him and hoping that, that he would make it, man. So he's still alive right now. Woo, man, come on, man. How pumped do I need to get right now? He's still alive. The tilapia running my mouth. I forgot to turn the blower back on. Fishing here with no oxygen. Let me get back here and turn it back on real quick. It's only been about two minutes. It seems like everyone drives more than 55 miles per hour around here, man. Yeah, typically right here you could. You could drive more than, than um, the speed limit. It, yeah. But it's only at nighttime when the police are laying in the cut waiting. Here people be driving all type of 70. Yeah, because uh, everybody's right. passing me up doing the speed limit. Right, yes. That's what happens over here. When you're driving slow um, and there's the, uh, the, the, um, the, the split up lines. Yeah. The ones that, not a solid line, but the, the ones that are split. Then that's ones you're able to pass. So if you you're, if you're driving, pa pass me up right on here. this too, that means you're driving too slow for the country, my man. man. I'm doing 55. Though. That's too slow for the country. I don't care what people do. Pass me up. I'm not getting a ticket. <laughs> I'm sure. Like my brother and them, they couldn't live in the country. They be like, heck no. I pay you, pay you not to send me out there. <laughs> oh yeah, my mom lived out here too. Yeah. Your mom lived out here. Yeah, my mom lived out here in 2015. Oh. For how long? Uh, like a year. She couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. Huh? Couldn't do it. The country was life was not for her. I'm like, mom, man, she couldn't do it. But bugs, like how you was taking, you be taking yeah. the bugs. She you don't, she can't deal with no bugs. She said, I gotta get out of here and get back to the city. Man, what is that in the middle of the street? Oh. Iraq, that would have been an IED right there. Yeah, you would have thought that. Yeah, right away. You, you, you expect that. You have to expect that right away. You gotta back up right away. Very common one. They just leave something in the middle of the street. All awkward. Then they got smarter. We backed up from it, and then they, next thing you know, they create trip wires. Mm -hmm. They create the wires across the road, and they put dirt over it. Go ahead and run that little piece of dirt over. Yeah. Boom! Hit the button right there, and blows up. Yeah. That at that time frame was all IEDs. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to come out and fight. Uh, improvised explosive device. That's something. That's what it stands for. They create them out of fire extinguisher. They stuff them in stuffed animals and put them in the middle of the road. We didn't found that. We found a Pikachu. Go straight. Yeah, keep going straight. We found a Pikachu stuffed animal full of gunpowder in there. Like a little small hand grenade. Mm, okay. Uh, daisy chain. Yep. IED three here. And then chain it. I wire it all the way down 50 feet further. And another three over there. And daisy chain again. Another three to uh, the east side. And so every time Marine, uh, we back up for security, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Take out the whole team. They just, man, they just creative with this thing. Yeah. There's some time we found a weapon cache. Dude, just piles and piles of mortar rounds, weapons, AK, handguns, yeah. ID, just hidden in the small little. That's where they were stashing it. They, yeah, the stash. They were stashing it. Yeah, we caught a, a lot spot. of their stash. Like, yeah. I would say, I saw at least eight stash I brought out. Yeah, I see. And when we lay them out, man, it was it could support a whole football team full of oh. amp weapons. Dude. It would support mm, yeah. like a team of like 30 people. Yeah, there's their stash spot. They were just like, they can ditch them off. Ditch off the uh, weapons, and they already know where the other stash spot is at. Yeah, they, ha they have their own stash and go pick up their weapons. Yeah. The first time I saw everything, man. Tank getting hit, blown up on ID. Truck, seven tons. Mm -hmm. uh, people shooting. Corbels are coming out. There's fire down range. It was crazy. It was like really a real war game, man. <laughs> I was like, I was in the real game. Like, yeah. Uh, picking up body parts. Putting them in Ziploc bags, zip yeah. them up. It was brutal right there, man. 2004 and 2005 was the most brutal time in Iraq. Mm -hmm. 2003 and 4, 4, man, that one. Those guys were 
out there head to head. Yeah, that's because you yep, yep. out there just shooting back and forth, back and forth. Yep. From here to that house, it's just all day, every day. They just, I don't know how those guys even get out of that. Were you guys part of the initial uh, entry into um, no, Iraq? That's 2004. 2004, okay. And then you guys that's came the, right after. We came right after. That. Okay. That's when the ID. So you guys were basically the, um, so they already had the entrance, the, uh, the ones who came in first to, to, to pretty much gain control. You guys came to, to, gain, to, gain, to, 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 to um, pretty much to maintain it. Were you guys maintaining or were you guys still pushing in trying to? Still pushing in. Okay. It's still at the, the final tip of the push. Oh, okay. You guys are at the final tip of the After push. After 2005, okay. 2006, 7. Gotcha. Started calming down. 2008, it really calmed down. Yeah, yeah. In 2009, it's like, why are we still doing here? What are we still doing here? Yeah, it was done. I had moved to Afghanistan. They were going to Afghanistan at the same time they were going to Iraq. But it wasn't as big, though. It wasn't, like, I that wasn't a main, it wasn't a main focus. Oh, no, Iraq was the main focus. Iraq was the main focus. Yeah. And then they switched switched over to um, Afghanistan because that's where we were going when I when, when we both got out that's where we were, that's the only place that uh, they were getting deployed yeah. to Iraq. is uh, Afghanistan yeah everyone was going to Afghanistan because when I went there 2005 I saw all the damage left behind the, the unit before that went right okay they, the school was blown up uh, bullet holes everywhere yeah yeah things were damaged church yeah. was blown up and i was like damn who went who came here before we did yeah they didn't they tag they tagged the places like yeah so and so unit squad was yeah there. yeah they were already there they okay. tagged it inside the house that we we see outside the city they came in there i was like these guys went out around here and played they didn't want yeah. to make some noise stone you remember stone yeah he got blown up how bad uh it wasn't too bad he he came he came back alive we had a boat here. Easy. This is a big lake, huh? This lake is huge. Oh, it's a huge lake. This is a huge lake. Let's see what these birds do when they, when we walk past. You guys think they'll stay there? I think they're gonna stay there. I think they're gonna. Oh, oh man, I'm, I think they're gonna stay. Let's just, let's just walk past, oh, nice and, yeah. nice and cool. This is a nice greeting at a lake, man. They might just stay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that was nice. That was pretty nice, man. That's a nice entrance to a lake. There's fish in here. You can just feel that there's fish in here. All these plants and stuff, lily pads. They love hiding under there, man. A couple of casts in. Wanna get a couple of them in? Yeah, let's get a couple of them in. All right. Oh, man, he'll be great for dinner. He is tasty. Let's see if he'll respect us even with the fishing pole. We get respect around here, man. And he says, gives us a little wave. 